didn't do it. Hello, this is Tim Hensley with the Urban Homestead. We're here with an old-fashioned limber twig tree. We also have neighbors here in the background, and uh, I suppose we may be documenting uh, um, public drunkenness here as well. Uh, but we are uh, we're with an old-fashioned limber twig, and uh, we get questions about the limber twig trees from time to time, why they have this name. And this tree illustrates it pretty nicely. Uh, all of the branches have a, there's a pendulous twiggy growth about them. And so uh, as the tree gets weighted with apples, it tends to droop over here and hang. And this is a tip bearer as well. And so these hang um, sort of like a weeping cherry. And uh, the limber twig uh, family is a large family of apples. We're not sure exactly how they've all uh, developed through the years, but uh, Lee Calhoun uh, suggests that uh, the first one is a red limber twig. I suppose it could be the old-fashioned also. And as, uh, as Virginians moved west, they carried this limber twig apple with them and developed some other cultivars like the black limber twig, which is uh, grown down in Georgia, um, the, re the red royal, a uh, really high flavored uh, uh, medium sized apple. And we have one called the Myers Royal, really a great uh, apple. But uh, boy, limber twigs really pack a punch. This old fashioned has a bit of a lemony flavor. It's a small apple, but really a high quality, uh, full flavored type. And we'd heartily recommend uh, that you try some of these limber twig apples. The uh, Myers Royal in particular is the, the largest of these uh, limber twigs. And I have a friend over in Lee County who does uh, taste tests and his uh, Myers Royal is the one that uh, wins out every time. So old fashioned limber twig, here's the pendulous habit. That's how they come by that name. And Tim Hensley, Urban Homestead, our website is www.oldvaapples.com.